you are absolutely right, Jonathan. She is a force of nature. She commits to a role like nothing I've ever seen, both emotionally and physically. I'm Jonathan Bloomberg writing for a movie scene in Sweden. In Sweden. Hey, son. Hey, son. <laughs> hey. Alpra. Uh, uh, everything's great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice yeah. to nice meet you, Jonathan. Meet. Right back at you. I see Nomi has uh, done her fair share of uh, sh uh, sharing our language with you guys. Yes. Well, I, I live in Sweden. I'll let you into a secret. I live in Sweden. So, and I'm a Swedish really? citizen <laughs> as well. So I've I've, well, picked, I've picked up a little bit in order to speak to my children. Well, I, I didn't know that, but that's amazing to hear. <laughs> so that, that, that kind of uh, explains how we landed uh, on a, a Swede in, in the lead role of, of this series, uh, which was going to be my first question that you kind of uh, answered anyways here now. So, so uh, I, I wanted to know uh, how you went about uh, casting uh, Numi uh, for, for this role, uh, well, apart from her being Swedish. The weird thing is, I'll 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 slightly answer your first question uh, as to as to why it was Sweden. It's one of my kind of initial little sparks of uh, inspiration for the story was I was on holiday in a in a cabin in the woods with my wife in in Sweden, and um, and every night, well, for a couple of nights, we used to hear this this little girl calling out in the forest, "Mama, Mama," and we'd we'd go out and look for her, and she was we were she was never there. And uh, and we tried to kind of work out who she was during the daytime and where she could be staying, and we never we never found an answer to that. So that all that always just stuck in my head that little girl crying uh, crying in the forest in in Sweden. And I guess when I came to write it, for some reason it collided with this um, space mystery, and um, and I and and I felt that the journey of it had to had to be to find out who that who that little girl in the in the Swedish forest was. And casting wise, you know, it probably had to be Numi and, and no one else. I, I think I'm I think Peter wrote it for Numi. And and when Numi read it, our, our first conversation, she said, you know, I was going to take a break, but I can't. I have to do this. This was written for me. And I said, yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and and it, she she truly is a, a force of, of nature. Whenever she commits to a role, I know she she really wants to be involved with shaping how the, that character will turn turn out. So I was wondering if that was the case on this show as well, and if uh, she added anything, uh, what uh, kind of came from her that we later got to see on on screen. Well, I think when she read the script, she said it's like you've read my mind it's 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 like you've read my diary and and uh, you, you know you seem to know you seem to know what it's what it's like in here so in a way in a in a way it was it was just a kind of symbiosis of something that she really seemed to click with in the part and it does have that strength that she's that she's well known for and that containedness and power but i think it's got uh, an emotionalness and a and a vulnerability and a kind of rawness mm -hmm. Uh, and and a sparkle uh, and a lightness to her performance, which um, uh, you, you know, which is maybe slightly new territory. Yes, that she, Numi really responded to that in in the script. In that her character, yes, she is powerful and strong, but she is vulnerable, and she's a mom, and Numi's a mom, and she she found it very relatable. And you are absolutely right, Jonathan. She is a force of nature. She commits to a role like nothing I've ever seen, both emotionally and physically. And she needed to in this because it was both emotionally and physically demanding. And she's she's phenomenal. I can't imagine anybody else doing it. No. Yeah, I'm really great to, to it was really great to, to watch her in, in this for sure. And, and I'm looking forward to speak with her next now about it as well. So uh, best of luck with the premiere. And I, I do hope that we get to speak uh, on this second season if we get one. I hope so too. <laughs> Thank you, Glad Jonathan. To meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye.